In this universe sandbox video, we're gonna be terraforming the moon. All right, so here's the moon. And so the rules that we followed in the last video, um, we're not allowed to change any of these settings except for the atmosphere setting. So we're allowed to add an atmosphere in the settings here because there's no way to add that except for just changing the settings. But for everything else like water, we're gonna, we're gonna launch stuff into the moon to add it. So for water, we're gonna click add and then go to asteroids. Let's do random asteroid click launch over here launch that and then what we do is we wait for it to get close to the surface but not hit it yet so about about right there and then we can go into the settings on this and change it to water so this will be a giant ball of water and then we make it bigger too okay so this is if we compare it to the earth's ocean mass we probably want it about there so this is about 3.8 percent of the water in earth's ocean and we're also going to want to turn the speed down because if it goes too fast it'll make a big impact, but we just want it to gently form an ocean on the surface. So if we unpause time, oh, you can see the water shooting out these ripples and it is shooting some rock out probably because the water is shooting out so fast. It's shooting some of the moon rock out. Um, I'm going to try to, to try to delay this. Okay. So it looks like it went around it and it did leave a lot of heat, but if we speed up time, we're going to see. It should, yeah, it did add a lot of water to the surface here. And it looks like it already froze. So to bring that back, let's add the atmosphere now. So to start, let's set it to one Earth's atmosphere, which that's gonna be too much. So let's turn that down till we can start to see the surface again. About right here. And we're gonna speed up time and see how that affects temperatures. Okay, so it looks like it might need some more atmosphere layers to be the right temperature. So we want this middle number right here to be about 30, like 25 to 30 is pretty good. So maybe five. So it's gonna stabilize around there. So this is a good temperature now. Look for water on it, see if that water showed up. So it looks like it's still ice. So I'm gonna launch some more into it. So we got 13 giant oceans of water dropping into the moon and they're coming okay perfect that's what we wanted we wanted them to go around the equator like that so it did heat it up a lot um but hopefully that turns into liquid water after this cools down uh it looks like it didn't so i'm wondering if it is possible that there's not enough mass to keep the water on it uh, yeah, look, there's no water. So we might have to shoot another moon at it to just to increase it, the mass. So it's gonna be bigger, but we gotta do it. Now this will be, this will be cool. Boom, okay, so that effectively doubled the mass. I'm worried we're gonna knock it out of orbit. So it looks like it is still in orbit. We're gonna need to, if we shoot it forward again by launching another moon to give it even more mass in this direction, it'll equalize this orbit. So let's go to the back of it right here. Grab another moon, launch, okay, boom. And if we check the orbit, a little bit more stable. Okay, so that should be good. Let's check out our, so yeah, it is a lot bigger. So now let's try shooting some water into it and let's keep it going in this direction. So I'm just gonna shoot one pretty big ball of water into it. This is pretty big already. So if we just make this water, uh, I'm gonna wait till it gets really close and then make it speed zero again. I'll wait for it to inch a little bit closer. Okay, right about there. The speed set it back to zero have it gently keep resetting it to zero to stop it from overheating the planet okay so that launched some water on it we'll see if it can keep that on its surface now that produced a lot more fragments than i thought it would that's a pretty cool shot though Okay, speed up time, wait for these fragments to either dissipate or fly back in. Still in orbit. Yep. Okay, it's cooled down. Check it out. Composition. Still 0% water. I'm wondering how we can get, it might need to be even more massive. This definitely should be massive enough to hold water now. Let's try launching a moon full of water at it now. Should be chilling. Oh, okay. Well, it was going very fast, but it looks like this is gonna work because the water is still there. Yes, we did it. 
Okay, the water has not left us. So that was definitely the issue. Yeah, it didn't have enough mass. So, we actually do have a 76% chance of life likelihood already. The atmosphere, you can see the water spreading there. Let's make this a bluish atmosphere. And then same thing that we did with that last one, we're gonna switch this to elevation and then give it, make it look more like it has vegetation on it because the vegetation in the game right now isn't ideal for this kind of thing. Let's just speed up time and wait for this, wait for this to spread so we can watch it spread. So actually we'll probably throw one more little thing of water on this side just so we can get more of a diversity. But yeah, watch this go in. We'll have a little bit more water on the surface. Feed zero. Let it go in. And add some water over here. Perfect. And then let's change these colors. I'm gonna speed it up some more to get the water to dissipate some more. Okay, that looks a lot better. They're kind of a little bit wacky. I guess we got a lot of higher and lower spots on here. Okay, so here's our habitable moon. Um, it is a lot bigger than the moon used to be. 75% of Earth, um, so it's 60 times bigger than the moon. But that's what we had to get to get this water to, to stick to the surface. That was very, very annoying. So yeah, here it is. Um, it's not as pretty, I think, as Mars. Mars was a lot prettier. If you want to see that video, there'll be a card up here. Um, and final life likelihood is going to be 40.7, which is pretty good. So now we got the terraformed moon and then we also have the terraformed Mars in this system right here. And once again, if you want to see this video, it's just made it. It's on my channel. Make sure to check that out. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Um, you guys smashed the like goal on that last video. It was 30 to get this moon video and you guys did great. So next I'm thinking we do Venus. Um, if that's something you guys want to see, leave a like on this video and let's go for 50 this time. Thank you so much for watching. Um, see you guys.